good morning. A little bit of an outfit of the day. Just briefly, obviously. And if you're offended, go watch another channel. Probably Megan Kelly, for instance, might be your more appropriate content if this stuff bothers you, even though I'm still a hetero atypical cis guy. Um, it's an interesting social experiment. People aren't as bothered by it. Maybe because I don't have much of a masculine body. I know I'm not a Chad. Um, it's interesting looking like a lady um, actually gets more social capital than if you were a guy. It's really crazy to say, yeah, you got a couple of attention from the dudes for obvious reasons, but um, yeah, it really pays to not be a guy anymore. And um, that's all I want to say with that. But again, if it really bothers you that I, you know, I don't have real boobs or, or I'm wearing, you know, outfits that just, you know, offend you, then please um, tune to another YouTube or another platform or something that satisfies your personal beliefs. And, you know, you're not really seeing much of me the way the camera is uh, set up. But that's all I'm going to say about uh, cross-dressing or what I like to say, female cosplay. This was a really fun subject to talk with my, my therapist. And supposedly my new therapist is more um, in this subject. But if you want to learn more about this, you know, the, the, the part three of this, ex or the part one and part two of this experiment, check out my site. And um, I'll be following up with this later when I start running this internally before I share it publicly. All right, so two minutes of that aside, I am here in Keene for a weekend to get away from my family. It's like respite, but the difference with this one is it is actually some research try to gather trying to gather to figure out where do I relocate? Do I relocate to places like the seacoast or a place like Keene. There's many reasons why I am would be potentially relocating to a city and it's access to resources because I do not drive for a number of reasons. Um, another reason is um, it's a little bit more walkable. Some of the towns are too and also the cities are a little bit, a bit bigger than than town, so there's more eyes and more light eyes equals less um, feeling of uncomfort. Some people will call that anonymity. Um, I hate using that word to describe the masses of people versus people in towns, but there is there is that angle, but it's not the factor either. I don't think there's any transportation, public transportation here in Keene, but um, it's um, it's um, it's better than what it is over in, say, like Merrimack. Um, I came here. Uh, the tr the decision was to come here about a week ago, but with the unexpected floods that happen and I didn't think King would get directly hit. The the thing was I didn't want to run into get over here with, you know, closed roads or, or whatever. I didn't want to cause just a few towns over those rivers are, are um in, engulfed and um it's really bad. Um so but I decided to go a week later and in fact the decision was to go in June. And it got, I couldn't do it in June, so I was able to do it for this, for this month. Um, and um, it, was for, it was for my mental insanity. I was going to lose it by the end of this weekend if I was back at home. So I am, um, I am. Um, So, so I made the decision to, to, to do it for this weekend. And I think my mother booked it like Wednesday evening or afternoon. 
Raymond, th no, it was Thursday actually, did it the day before. Um, and um, and so, sorry, I just woke up to, by the way, my, my knees, my, excuse me, my ankles were in, because it was going through a lot of them exercise too. I, I did enjoy the exercise. I was walking like a half mile to downtown from my hotel room and um, I couldn't get any sleep because it was in pain but when I woke up just after 7.30 I'm okay. Um, so um, another, a couple other things I noticed was the people are a little bit, again, it's similar. I, this is one thing that I know characterizing New Hampshire, that New Hampshire is, um, basically like Maine and Vermont, old, crusty old people, but with a suburban, um, with a suburb. Um, Keene is not technically a suburb of Boston per se, but the media market tend to have um, a Boston, um, it's extended. Um, you know, the IDG, the International Data Group, um, they still, I think, own a building in Peterborough on the outskirts, which is a couple towns um, east from where I am. And um, they're not even here anymore. These are the people behind the old Mac world, PC world, network world, um, all those <laughs> IT mags um, they've I think since relocated in Massachusetts but um, I don't think many people who work for IED today are you know in Peterborough or whatever but uh, for the most part it's kind of like a sleepy extended area of the Boston area so but it's still got a very rural feel where it's mostly older people and stuff like that still work up um so um um th that's one thing the younger people um there there were a few similar I, similar to other parts they're couples um they're relatively younger um there's hardly i mean systematically there's hardly any millennials unless they're atypical which I'm not which I'm not um, kidding either and so that just makes it um, just feel a little bit lonely but some of the younger ladies um, were really really nice particularly one one shop they were really nice um, it's rare to find that um, here in New Hampshire it's at least southern parts and so um, excuse me and so, yeah, it's um, it's it's an interesting thing. I'm I'm planning to come here maybe. Um. I I don't know when their peak season is. It's just to help on like the the money part for my mother. Um, obviously, King Saint is not too far from me, and I don't want to be around college people because that means they're like you know at this point half my age. Um. I just, I don't get how there's an age gap like this other than the housing market and even the renter's market is so out of whack. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's been an interesting experiment, um, ex interesting experience and I'm going to be making my way back home in a few hours and see how that plays out. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really tired. I gotta get going. I'm probably gonna take a nap before my mother comes because if God forbid I nap on the way home, she'll, she'll talk my ear off. So, again, God forbid if I talked people's ears off, it's like, good God. All right. So, till next time, thank you for watching. Bye.